Hi there, I'm John Berman. Well, Labor Day has come and gone, which means that summer is unofficially over, which means that the summer movie season is unofficially over. And I thought this would be a good time for me to give my reviews to all those summer blockbuster movies. Now, here's the twist. I didn't actually see any of the summer blockbuster movies. Why? Well, there are a couple reasons. So my reviews are based on nothing other than maybe the trailers that appeared on TV or my general opinion of, of say, the movie posters. So, so here we go. Dan behind the camera is going to throw out a movie. I'm going to give you my review. Uh, Transformers uh, Revenge of the Fallen. So the thing about the Transformers is, is I never really liked it because I couldn't understand why the Transformers get not one but two movies in, in GoBots, which came out roughly at the same time in the, you know, the 80s or whatever, or 90s. They get nothing. So. I've always resented the Transformers because of that. Uh, G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra. Yeah, G.I. Joe, like why didn't they make a He-Man? I don't know, G.I. Joe was sort of after my time as a kid, and the kids who were playing with G.I. Joe weren't that cool, so I have a hard time believing that G.I. Joe could be that cool now. Uh, Julie and Julia. This one's interesting. It took me most of the summer to realize that this movie was different than all the other movies that had Julia in the title the last few years. I mean, I think there was a movie like with Tilda Swinton last year called Julia. There was some movie with Annette Bening a few years ago called Being Julia. So my basic review of Julia, Julie and Julia is just flat out confusing. I'm just confused by the whole concept. Uh, the Hangover. Now, most of my friends uh, who don't have kids and have more of a life than I do said this is a great movie, a very funny movie. They haven't laughed uh, at a movie like this for a long, long time. You would think that might make me like The Hangover, but I have to say it ha had the opposite effect. It really just embittered me because I haven't seen it. If it's that good and that funny and I haven't seen it, it makes me bitter. So I'm giving that a bad review. All right, District 9. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. What is District 9? Did uh, I see, is it like a sequel to District 8? Because I, I, have, I have no idea. I, it's the prequel to District 10. All right, um, I, I'll see it before District 10 comes out, but I, I don't even know what that means. What about Funny People? Um, that's the one with Adam Sandler, right? Yeah. They're not, they're not smiling on the poster. All I know about that is the movie's called Funny People. They're not smiling on the poster, so how funny could it be? I suppose it's ironic. So I'm going to say I found that movie to be somewhat ironic. That's my review of that. Um, so I will say this, because I haven't given anything really a, a, a good review. The best thing I saw all summer wasn't a movie. It happened to be a quick fix, which this is right now. You should all be watching the quick fix more. The funniest, most entertaining thing I saw all summer was Dan Harris interviewing Jamie Lynn Sigler. It was the best piece of video entertainment I have seen in years. If you haven't seen it, run out and see it now. That's my advice. That's all I have for you this week. I'm John Berman. Bye-bye.